Hey, cheer up. You're not the first couple to have their romantic evening interrupted. Ah, the stories I could tell you. Kind of hoping you won't. Have you got nothing better to do? Uh, see you later. See ya. What happened to you this morning? Oh, well, I didn't want to disturb you. Didn't get to bed till late. Oh, I know. I thought Val had never let us go. Sorry she ruined the night. Oh, it's yeah, not your no, fault, no, is it? Good. Anyway, she's not here now. Oh, hello. Oi, oi! Do you two never stop? Listen, your dad said to say that he'll be in tonight, so he doesn't want to play gooseberry. Shouldn't you be at least trying to get some sleep? No time. Got loads of hotel ideas from down under. I need to tell Terry. <laughs> Bet Terry's going to love that. <laughs> You've only just come off a 24-hour flight. It's all right. I don't get jet lag. She don't get jet lag, do you? Better go. See you later. See ya. OK, bye. Does she never do any work? Hi. Wouldn't you can keep her hands off him? <laughs> Lucky man. Hi. Hi. I'm like, mm. What are you doing? Just paying my vet's bill. I wondered if you had to look. Oh, babe, I can't. I'm on my own. I'm snowed under. No, it's all right. Just an off chance thingy. Well, look, if you fancy going out tonight for a drink, maybe we could go out of the village. No, what do you mean? <laughs> Mum collared me at breakfast. She wanted to take us out tonight. Obviously, I told her we had plans. Oh, right. What do you say that for? Well, because I don't want a repeat of last time, do I? But you don't actually <laughs> want to go out with her, do you? Look, at least she's making the effort. Yeah, but... Let's give her a call, all right? Just tell her we've cancelled our plans or something. Really? Really? Fine. I mean, if it all kicks off, I'm blaming you, all right? Bishop George. <laughs> Ashley, come in. Would you like a tea? Coffee? I'm making a sandwich if you want it one. Tea will be fine, thanks. Right, well, I'll put the kettle on. George, I take it Sally's not here. Obviously, it's her situation I've come to discuss. She's at marriage counselling. Oh, good. Has she given any indication as to how it's going? I haven't asked too much about it. I understood you didn't want to discuss. Uh, until the time is right, yes. However, I have spoken to Vincent. Oh, what's he said, then? That it's going very well. Did he? Yes. So, I think that it's time for Sally to return home. Isn't that for her to decide? Now, let's not go over all this again. It's for them to decide, as a couple, together. I'm Look, sorry, in George. Which, in which case, they both have to be ready, don't they? <sighs> Well? What? Don't play games. Have you got the money? You have the money by tonight. Thanks. Debbie's upstairs getting Sarah washed if you were staying for dinner. No, Ta. You've not got much time left with her. I don't want to be in the way. Oh, please. We've made our decision. Let's not, eh? Sure. Let's not make it any harder. So, when are you going to tell her off? Me? I was kind of hoping you... You must be joking. This is just as much you're doing as it is mine. I'm not the one breaking her heart. All I'm doing is providing the exit door. Oh, and the cash, of course. So I reckon this one's down to you. Hey, calm down. It's not going anywhere without you. All right? Yeah, I just came to tell you not to worry back. Uh, I'll come this afternoon. Oh, thanks. How come? Uh, call it an early birthday present. Right. Who's hungry? Me. Will you sit here, then? You're not staying? I'll best get back. Ryan's on his own. Well, he said he could... ..manage. Hello? Edna, uh, would you like to take your lunch early? Do you think you can spare me? Saying there's a lord in Sheffield. Uh, actually, I was wondering if you could do that. Why? Because when Ken Dingle gets in his car, I'm going to follow him. Sometimes marriage counselors. Oh, thank you, darling. People hear what they want to hear. 
So you think Vincent is that good at fooling people, including me? Do you really want an honest Ashamed. answer? Once again, you're allowing your personal animosity to get in the way. No, it's not that. It's just, do you think it's worth taking the risk? A risk? <laughs> Where's the risk in a husband and wife resolving their problems together? So do you expect me to throw Sally out? No, but I would like you to consider the bigger picture. All right, George, but what do you actually want us to do? Well, firstly, to realise that Sally staying much longer is not good for anyone. Not for her, not for Vincent. Nor indeed the church's public image, as you've often pointed out. There is something to be said for it, yes. The church is supposed to stand for certain principles, as you know, and that's despite your, shall we say, penchant for defying them. So, what I'd like you to do is this. I'd like you to talk to Sally. Make her see that it is time to move forward. And if she won't accept that, I'd like you to call me, and then we will decide together what best to do. You've got to let this go. It's over. For you, maybe. Just cos he's got to pick up some money doesn't mean that... Twenty grand, Jimmy. And he's going to get it today. All oh, right, what are you going to do? Mug him on his way home? I'm going to follow him, find out where he's hiding it, and then just play it by ear. Carl, you've got to start focusing on what's important. When Kane first came back, you thought this was important. Yeah, well, things change. Yeah, you took the easy way out. All oh, right, so I'm a coward now, am I? Excuse me. Uh, it's not my obsessions putting people we care about in danger. I've told you before, I'm not putting Angelica in the firing line. Change your record, Jimmy. I've got kids too. And they don't live a few doors down from the psycho that you're planning to rob. And I'm serious. Yeah, Carl! I mean... I didn't know about it in a letter. A letter? All of the personal touch, was it? Yeah. Well, it could have been worse, couldn't it? Could have had the chap she actually slept with coming round to your house and telling you. Oh, yeah, mate. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well. Uh, would anyone like to tell me what's wrong with this picture? What do you... Oh, yeah! Get them the one who's getting divorced! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I completely lost focus then. What I meant to say was... There's always an upside, yeah? Yeah. And I know it's horrible and everything, but... You know, once you sign the papers, then you'll be able to move on, won't you? Marlo, Donna phoned. I am so sorry. You are? Well, of course I am. Well, that's, that's very... So, forgive me, why are you the one who went down there and told her to get on with proceedings? Yes, I know, but... Well, it's all brought it home to me. I won't be your mother-in-law anymore. Bob! See? <clears throat> Upside. I knew there'd be one. Well. Donna's divorcing Marlon. Oh, no. Really? And she's found somebody else. <sighs> Blimey. You don't let the grass grow, does she? It's been the best part of a year. I know, I know, you're right. It just seems such a shame, that's all. Mm. Oh. Let's hope it's all quick and painless, eh? Monster of a policeman. Thank you very much. 